Good morning. I'm Mindo Fanya and I'm here with my secretary of this me working well and checking things out. But I just I just thought that I just want to give you a quick video about what I'm I'm uh, doing and I'm being so frustrated about this. You know the red uh, Rosanna. Um they are native in our uh, you know in Australia and they you know they just love come to eat my rose shoot. They just destroy so many roses in this season. Last year they came, but it's not that you this bad like this year. Even I'm trying to put the pack down on you know on the rose shoot, but they still they still care come to destroy those shoot. Um, yesterday I went out quite um, quite late in the afternoon, maybe early evening. And then they just move on from this rose, move on to the other rose. And yeah, you could see that so many shoot got damaged over here. I still hear some flying, but they forming. But you could see that I've been trimming here. Uh, you could see that all this damage, so frustrated guy. And yes, they even I'm here. And the bird, they still, that corner there, they still standing there. They wasn't scared of me. Okay, let me show you this. <laughs> Look at it. Oh wow, look at it. They damaged all of this. And here, look at this. You can see all the shoot, they damage. That's so frustrating, guy. Wow. I I don't know what can I do other than I walking around chasing them. But you know they're so fast. And yesterday I I saw two of them. And when I feel I suddenly I caught the little video. And I think in the video you saw only you will see only one, but I saw only two of them on on my roses. Look at this, and they did try some of the roses over there as well. They, that's one too. They damn it, that standard bow too. They are so quick, guy. I'm been so frustrating, guy. Look at this. So anyway, I just want to show you, and then just want to give you a quick uh, quick video, quick update. I'm so frustrating about this. I'm not sure what um, you're dealing with uh, in your area. I guess uh, I don't have possum and maybe I don't, uh, I, and they don't have wombat come to destroy the roses. But they have this rosanna. Look at this. And how about I show you some pretty thing over here. I got some peony looking so good at the moment. This is her base of peony. Look at this. So pretty. And I got that beautiful bloom over here as well. I think they might be the same variety, but I'm not sure. But I just noticed that this one on the little bloom of the garden treasure, this uh, Icy Hope Peony. Sorry, my finger. Uh, this one I split from the crowd that I bought uh, from Bunnings, I think two years ago. That crowd grew quite big, so I split this one up. Uh, yeah, anyway, I do have a at the big bush over there but i do a garden tour for you very soon so you could see the feature oh, they looking good they're shooting out beautifully after i trimmed them quite hard last year and they are butting up now and some area they got more flying but than the others but that's okay i noticed the few trees is over there i trimmed them really hard but they shooting out and there are so many flying butts guy i'm so so excited for them and i'm here to you know, have, mm, make sure I or have to make sure I have a uh, time when the mm, they set the foot, and I have to net them in time because I don't want they have a foot flight damage. I gonna go around and trimming on the roses uh, like this. So heartbreaking, guy. You know, they, this season um, we got a very late frost and damage a lot of rose shoot, and now we got the rosanna come to damage a lot of my rose rose uh, shoots as well. Let me show you a quick quick look about the feature on this side. So, um, not I mean not every cluster, uh, cluster they got a flying bus, but most of them there's so many guys. I'm so surprised about that. I thought that maybe I trimmed them too hard, but even this one, I pulled this one so hard, but a lot of flying button. Wow. And I was so afraid that, oh, maybe I um, might have to kill it or kill them <laughs> because three, three bushes on this row. Look at those. So many guys. Somehow I just uh, feel that, look at this. 
Anyway, um, let's show you this beautiful rose over here. This is garden of rose. I got three bushes of this. Did I show you the bushes on this side too? Let me show you. This one, um, uh, only a few flying but starting to open. Not that uh, open, whiny night. The one I just show you, but this one can mingle together with the feijoa over here. Look at those. Yeah, and when I net a feijoa and on cover, I mean the net and cover on the roses as well because yeah, they they just stay inside of the net. Somehow they still still doing um quite well actually. I just I just managed to trim on the on the damage it off, but I just noticed on the other side of my yard they did more damage as well. I don't know when. Uh, just say I check and they seem fine, but maybe they they came maybe over lunchtime or something. I'm not sure, but I saw some of the roses over there. They got damaged too, so I'm gonna move on to that corner and trim them back. Let me give you a quick update of some pejoa over here too. Look at those. Yes, these three bushes I plant them. Uh, I think a year later than my um, seven bushes. Uh, no, no, the, the other six bushes, right? And last year one of the bushes died, so I replaced one little, uh, you know, one of that that one with the little one. But I got three more bushes over here or plant over here. I grow them as a tree actually. So I trim my uh, trim on the lower cane at the base, and then I kind okay, of like knitting them up. Um, so they are around, how, how, how big they are? They are around, well, I don't know, two meter width and they are around well, two meter tall as well. I try to train them, or okay, like put them kind of pop um, way. <laughs> okay, I can stand the tree actually. Yeah, anyway, this tree though, a few weeks ago, I, I, I was going to stack this tree back a little bit and then when I pull them, pull the string and I damage it, I mean, one of the branches over here got split. After that, I just you the string here, I tie it together. I, but three bushes over here, I didn't prune them hard. I took lightly to prune them. But also this one, I got good competition to the giant elderberry over here. The smells over here so amazing, guys. I, maybe some of you might um, hate the smell, but I love them, actually. Well, plants over here, they have a lot of flying but as well. I'm so, so happy about them. So one of my friends think that um, the scent of the feijoa food, they are so strong. Uh, at the beginning, uh, when I gave her, I think two years ago, and after that, all of her family liked them, and including her at the end. Yeah, and after that, she bought two feijoa plants last year, and she planted them in her yard. Anyway, uh, let's give you a quick, quick uh, look about these rows, shall, uh, shall we? I'm not sure what they are. Two bushes, by the way, one doing well, you can see that one doing very well, big. This one not doing that well, but this one always got a frost damage. Uh, every year, the corner actually, I think the corner over here very exposed. So uh, that one got very bad damage. This one though is past their prime time because all the bloom they already fade. But also I think from the warm temperature just stay as well, they fade so quick. That one got more protected because of the tree on the over this side. Yeah, anyway, I my grass, that one is called afternoon denied. But I'm not sure. They are quite thorny by the way. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you enjoy it and see you next video. Oh look at it! They damaged my my shoot over here. This is black uh, what is it? Black caviar. Wow, I got so many shoots over here, guys. I don't want they damage the moon.